Livingston, Southern Province, I just had to do it. You see, as a young Zambian, I didn't even know what a vacation was all about. I mean, I understand my parents were probably busy or they couldn't afford it or they had other reasons. Honestly, I would love to believe that they were too busy. Anyway, fast forward, I'm a grown man. I can afford a trip to Livingston. I decided to explore Zambia. When I was out of the country, I really had issues with regards to defining and getting to give a brief description or the most interesting description about Zambia. A lot of people out of Zambia know about Victoria Falls. They know that we've got a lot of wild animals. But as a Zambian, I couldn't relate because I never had that privilege of traveling around Zambia. So this is one of the reasons why I decided that as soon as I'm able to afford a vacation or a trip, I would do it as often as possible and if you take a look at this right zambia indeed is very beautiful look at the landscape look at the amazing serene environment that we have after eight hours of traveling we finally arrived and this was my room uh, i've forgotten the name of the lodge and it was beautiful it was okay <laughs> we also had to check out this old vintage train so this train probably mm -hmm. i'm a colonialist mm -hmm. yeah but okay. this is the new era the new don government hh is in prison is the president and i'm here you know so so yeah, we just had to explore it as well take a look at that the furniture so vintage and uh it was a very good experience we had to take a tour just seeing but you know uh, reality, we're just photobombing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then this is the accelerator. Why, right? Then you have to pull it. Then oh, you wow. start moving. Yeah. Wow. That's how it works. Now, is the heat bearable? Does this thing close? Yeah, we close. Okay. We close it. But wow. it's very hot here. Wow. It's very hot. And uh, here, that's where we see how much water is in our... Ah, the... the... That's the glass which shows us how much water is in the boiler. If okay. it goes down, then we open the injectors. And it pump it back water. in? Yes. I can see there's uh, in, uh, ejector, rocking crane, lubricant, lubricant. dyno, blower, Blow. plus a pressure. Yes, this is a pressure. It must come up to here. I see. Then this is the uh, vacuum bracket. Wow. It works with the vacuum. Wow, this is yeah. amazing. So yeah. you remove the coil, then you... Ah, that's so why it always something moves. Yeah. Like in the moment. And then that's the driving wheel. Then that's the driving wheel. Then it's just oh, like okay. you are. Finally, I saw Victoria Falls in person. Alamuevantu, this is so magnificent. It is so vast. Ish. Alamuandi nadi sansa mukanadi temwaka nave saye. By the way, I'm Lozi, in case you hear my thick Bemba accent. It's just that I grew up on the copper belt. You see, on the copper belt, you know, it's like that. We just use Bemba, the copper Bemba. But anyhow, getting back to Victoria Falls, the rainbow, check that out. The noise, you know, that sound of water just sliding down the rocks. Oh, man. Ish, okay. Okay, that was a chameleon. What was I doing with the chameleon? Quite in Jirimusungu. But... This is what people do on a vacation. <laughs> Catch me in Lusaka. You will never see me, uh, you know, touching animals and all that stuff. And by the way, this is a crocodile. Crocodile was just out there, you know, cooling, cooling by the water. You know, these things are actually delicious. As a lozi, I'm telling you, we, we eat uh, crocodiles. Uh, is it, uh, what, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, Sean, a water lizard. <laughs> water monitor lizard. All that stuff. Okay. And then I just had to, you know, do it for the people. That was a mini croc. I don't know whether it's an well, alligators are actually from America, right? Okay, that was a crocodile. We have two of them, a male and a female. So the names are Zulu and Nandi for the female. Okay, you know, Nandi is the mother of the Zulu clan. Yes, the mother of Shaka Zulu. Now, um, the male is normal color, which is orange with uh, stripes, and the female, due to gene mutation, is white. 
-hmm. Now, yes, the white ones are not very common like out in the natural habitats. Mm -hmm. That's because of the inability to blend with the surroundings. They are normally gotten rid of so quickly or so often. But the, the numbers are improving in captivity. And there is um, a reality when the two met to have either white or normal color. So that entirely depends on the female's genes at the time she's conceived. If the genes are recessive, the colors turn out to be white. If the genes are uh, dominant, then you have the normal color. So do not be baffled by it. All right. Now, the female is a little aggressive. Okay. So she's likely to be growling more. That, but that should not scare us. And then having kids around, I think you witnessed, you saw it with the lions. They are likely to be like more attracted to get to be to getting closer. So that should not start a risk because I mean they are predators at the end of it. Mm -hmm. And now a tiger, I think that might well, that's what might scare you off. It's the world's largest cat, very big, quite massive than a lion. But seventy percent of its body is mm -hmm. muscle, and that makes it very agile. So it can jump three meters high. Eh? So even when you find the face is not three meters. Please, you should not be worried because they feed frequently and you cannot feed them every second day. And it's mm -hmm. because of that that they calm mm -hmm. down. They don't just do things for doing them, but they always are the reason. Mm -hmm. And mostly the purpose is to fetch food. Mm -hmm. So don't think that our food. Alright, All right, so we can be going. Yeah, that was uh, some very good history. So here we are checking out the tigers. So there's... Um, a white tiger which is right there one of the most endangered species on earth very interesting uh, and then there was also like uh, a regular tiger is it a bungalow tiger do you see the white tiger yeah that one that one then this one is a regular you know uh, indian tiger so this was a very um exciting journey because i was really really ignorant uh, with regards to the amount of wildlife that we have i mean as much as we're from zambia the real africa a lot of us don't even understand the magnitude of an elephant because we are usually in locations that are far away from national parks and so we are very ignorant and we do not really have that first-hand experience you know so it's, it's it's one of those exciting things that i was uh, you know really excited to do so check me out looking at these cubs you know and i was like okay uh a lion a cub can never do anything to me so i was just like telling them okay you see i'm the boss and this is what we do from where i'm from and then everything was all good it was super amazing man this experience was amazing so that is it guys this is a summary of what happened on my livingstone trip and i'm in the background obviously giving you that you know amazing slow motion but at the slow more slow slow ma <laughs> back in the day during that time when there was ama cinemas do you remember when we had you know ama cinemas yakuma mine for those who grew up on the copper belt right kito to be precise in kana west there was this cinema you know whenever something would happen people would be shouting slow ma so yeah that's a slow motion of me just doing my thing looking like a boss that i am in, ho uh, in all humbleness, in all humbleness, I come to you as a humble being. So more of the story, more of the story, travel around Zambia, make the, uh, the, the tourism develop and just get to, uh, you know, share all the good experiences about your country because we are Zambians and nobody else is ever going to develop this nation. Takuli na umbi uke sa fumatawe ni forena I song to develop na you know Zambia. So as a Zambian, you're supposed to be patriotic. Make sure that you spend your money within Zambia. Don't go. Oh, I mean you can go, but you know just make sure you add value to the economy. Tourism is one of those things. So please support Zambia because Zambia indeed is very beautiful.